So how do we tell the difference between a population in a sample and a parameter in a statistic? So let's say, for example, we wish to see how much fertilizer is needed in the rice paddy fields of China when we introduce, introduce fish to the flooded fields. We take 500 rice paddy fields and we place fish in 255 of them and leave the other 245 as they are. After one year has passed, we return and ask the farmers how much fertilizer they used in their fields. What we find is that farms with the fish on average use 20% less fertilizer than those without. Just so you know, China produces 30% of the world's rice and rice fields are typically flooded with water to reduce weeds and pests. So first off, what's the population we're interested in? So what's the bigger picture? Well, if China produces 30% of the world's rice, I doubt that they only have 500 rice paddy fields. So if we're interested in the rice paddy fields of China, that's our big population. So all the rice fields in China would be our population. Now the sample, remember the sample is the smaller picture, the thing that we actually got data on. So the sample would be the 500 rice paddy fields that we actually looked at. Now the parameter is the thing of the population that we wanted to look at. So the parameter would be the percentage of fertilizer used. Now the statistic is what did we actually see when we did measure? So when we did measure this, the statistic we found is that farms with fish used 20% less fertilizer. So specifically, the statistic here would be that 20%, or in this case, negative 20%. Also, something to note, since we're going to get there soon, is that notice that we had 255 rice fields that we did put fish on, but then we left the other 245 alone. The reason for that is that that 255 is going to be our experimental group i.e. the one that we imply our treatment on. The 245, that's our control. That's one that gives us our baseline. If we were to just do the ones with the fish in them, well, then we wouldn't have it to compare to. Therefore, we wouldn't know if we were using 20% less fertilizer than those that didn't have fish in them.